Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very ninth episode of Off the Record, a show where we discuss weekly news on <coughs> Chico State. Wow, I had a, remember I changed that. The date is October 24th, 2013, and I'm Jeff Barron, the video editor at the Orion, and joining me tonight on the couch, because we're doing the couch format yet again tonight, is Allison Weeks, the opinion editor. Hello, everybody. Oh, yes. And now, it, see, that's like that normally being like a little friend, but now you actually get to see Allison as she is. She's an actual person, not in a box. <laughs> uh, and I'm also joined by Cammie Carter, the former Orion Features writer. Hello. So tonight we're talking about um, quite a few things, which by quite a few, I mean three. Um, so like streaming, there's a piece done on streaming and how streaming content does not compare to watching live TV. And I'm not sure, I don't entirely agree with the writer of this article. He's talking about how like the experience on your laptop for things like Hulu and Netflix just doesn't compare to like sitting down and watching it. But the thing is like, there's nothing to stop you from just hooking your laptop up to a full screen TV and just sitting there and watching it. Because like that's one of his arguments is the fact that TV, like just having it over on your laptop is like kind of sucks as an experience. But I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm. I think he doesn't actually understand the whole like idea of streaming. Streaming is just taking from the internet and that you can do that with so many different things now. You have like Roku boxes, like setup boxes that you can stick yeah, yeah. on. You can do it from your Wii, you can do it from your Xbox, you can do it from your PlayStation 3 and they're all set up onto your TV. So like does he just mean like watching it as it airs? Or... I think that's what he means because like, I don't know, it's cool to see something as it happens. Because, like, when you watch stuff online, it was already played already, so there's a bunch of other people who've seen it. I feel like they're not that far behind when you watch it online. It's like, it's there's only, like, maybe, like, two hour laps. Like, the max is, like, two hours that, that happens between the finishing of the show airing and then it coming up online in some way. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. He's, like, his biggest issue is, like, it's, like, it's basically dependent on your net connection. I guess, I don't know, I have a pretty good internet connection, but I still feel like, like, streaming is definitely, like, the future, like, there's no, there's no way, like, t like, I don't even have a cable connection, do you guys have cable at home? I have cable. You do? But I only have basic cable, and the, I will say the nice thing about having cable is, like, if you want to watch the news in the morning, you can just turn on your TV, like, with your computer, you have to wait for it to load, and then you have to, like, click on the internet browser in order to get to another site, to get to another site, to watch the news. Do you, so you don't need cable to do that. If you want to just watch local news, mm -hmm. it should be on the regular channels that they already give you. Like, you were actually given channels um, oh, with the regular TV, enough. just a free t channel thing, so you don't need cable to do that. If you want to watch local, like, if you want to watch, like, Fox or other things like that that aren't local, like CNN, um, you would need cable, but if you're just watching the local Chico news, it should be on yeah, like, that's the what channels I you're given. Oh, okay. Well, like, I feel like it's more of a hassle, like, go on your computer and watch the news than, like, just simply turning on the power button on your TV. Do you, wait, so do you, do you actually watch the news on TV? Yeah, I do. How often do you do that? Um, almost every morning. Every I'd morning? Say. Really? So, you, like, you wake up, you're like, TV, and you go make breakfast or something? Sometimes, yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know, like, I'm used to it, because that's just how I grew up, so, I don't know. It's I just, mean, like, what we would do. Hmm. Different folks, different strokes. And while that's okay, <laughs> I'm just pressing my rage right now. I'm not really that raging, actually, it's fine. Um, yeah, I don't you know. seem pretty calm, yeah, so... Yeah, it's, 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 it's hiding it's behind his demeanor. This is how I get angry. I get angry just by like, getting even more calm than normal. That's the secret, he's always angry. That's how I get surprised, <laughs> surprise my victims. Uh, that said... Yeah, the whole concept, I mean, like, his idea is just the fact that, like, internet's not there, like, in terms of, like, speed, and, like, I don't know, like, I haven't had any, I don't know, I haven't had any of these issues that he's had, and I feel like it's irrelevant. That said, moving on. So that brings us to our next topic. Uh, Halloween's coming up, and so that's always known for scantily clad costumes, so are you guys doing scantily clad, scantily clad costumes? Wow, I'm terrible at saying that word. Awesome. I'm not, but I'm going to be a cat one night, and then another night, I'm going to be a flapper, so I'm excited. So you have two costumes. I have two costumes. Why do you have two costumes? I don't know, but... 
episode. I guess I like different costumes. She likes having choices. Now. I like having choices. Maybe like, she life wants to be better. Or maybe she wants to be a flapper. She doesn't know. She exactly. Two, you have two ultimate personalities. Life is, she just exactly. Happen. Life is better with choices. So one you know? night you're just like you're just a so cat. So like one night I'll be a cat, at like. <laughs> You know, and then another night I could be a flapper just and change. hang out with Gatsby all night, you know? Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Or you could just be a cat flapper. Or I could be a flapper cat. Flapper you never cat. know. She'd go Halloween last the whole week. Give her some choices. Exactly. I would just wear one costume and just wear it until it becomes rags on my body. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be never So then you'd be a homeless person. There that you would go. be changing <laughs> costumes. It changes. It's a dynamic <laughs> costume. It starts, it starts as, well, as I'm going to be Ness from Earthbound, which is from a video game. And then uh, I'll be homeless Ness, so I'll be a great, 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 great transition. Kami, what are you going to be? Um, I'm going to be um, her from Star Trek and a minion from Despicable Me. Yeah. Ooh. Damn. Um, so this all has to do with the article that it's okay to dress up in like a scantily clad costume for Halloween because it's the one night, or to quote, to quote Mean Girls, because I'm going to quote Mean Girls here. Halloween is the one night a year where a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girl can say anything about it. Do you guys agree with that statement? Nah, people still say things. <laughs> no, I think like, I don't know, Halloween is just like another night. So I don't know, I don't think you should use it as an excuse to like dress that way. But like the one, like one costume you consistently see because it's easy is the Risky Business cons costume on girls. That's true. That's or the business. school you know, girl. The, the boxers and then the like long socks and then the button down shirt and glasses and yeah. Risky Business. Really? Have you seen Risky Business with Tom Cruise? No. Okay, well basically oh, okay. in the movie he comes out in a blouse and sunglasses and he has the whole house to himself. So that's basically his way of saying like... It's all mine. So he just thing. dances around the face. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you I'm, should see it. It's a good I'm movie. I'm out of the loop on that one, I guess. Jeez. Um, God, I was going to say something like that. Wait, okay, so do you judge other people because they wear kind of a cloud costumes or are you just like, whatever? I, I just like, go, it's it's fall. It's freezing. Put on. I don't know, for me. I feel like you would be cold. Really cold. Well, I don't really care. Like, people can do what they want. But, like, I just wouldn't do that. I I think it's just weird that, like, odd things get sexualized, like insects, like sexy bees, like, oh, yeah, or, like, praying mantis. Like, I've never seen a sexy praying mantis. <laughs> I've never seen a sexy gonna, praying mantis. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And you're, you're gonna, gonna be, do it. I'm just gonna, gonna see it happen. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna, whatever praying mantis does, it's sexy. Pray? They don't pray. They just eat things. <laughs> It's just <laughs> everything what? eats things. I don't know what I was going with that one. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, Praying Mantis. Um, someone's got a Praying Mantis costume out there. I'll maybe If I find one on the internet, I'm going to post it right now. But if it doesn't exist, I'm just going to look done doing that. Because maybe I won't, I'll be too lazy to edit it. Uh, moving right along, which is our third and last topic. Um, time to stop texting while driving. And um, the re I just, you can't stop me from texting and driving, so I will just continue to text and drive as much as I please. Although, I feel like this is a non-issue for me because Siri exists, and I tell Siri to do everything. It seems dumb, it seems like an Apple plug, but it's not. Because if I get a text message, I just say, Siri, read me my text messages, and she reads my text messages, and I say, okay, reply, and then I say it out loud, and then it sends it off. I don't ever have to touch the phone, I never have to take my eyes off the road, it just happens like magic. I use passengers for that. Do you really make them text on your yeah, phone? Yeah, I'll be like, here, take my phone, text, bring me my text message. Well, it's, like, texting and driving is obviously a huge issue, because they're making commercials about it, there's, like, an HBO documentary about it. There's a documentary? There's a documentary there's about a people against who, it. Yeah, there's, yeah, so it's definitely a huge issue that, like, the government and everybody wants to bring to light. Well, how long is the documentary? How long can they talk about it? I don't know, is it an hour? but it's, 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 an epic it's like movie. it's like an HBO one, and they basically talk to so like people who've caused it and people who have been affected by it. Oh man! Yeah. Like it's also it's terrible and hilarious to me because it's like it is a really big issue and people do die because of it, and it's the dumbest thing. But at the same time, I'm just like. I'm trying to think of like how like dramatic they can make that where it's just like a, my, I was a victim of like texting like I don't know. 
Well, they show this one guy who's like in a wheelchair, and like I think he even has something connected to his throat, maybe something like that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it just seems like oh God, this, yeah, this is this comes up all the time, and it's funny because texting is so much harder than just calling somebody. But the thing is, like, does anybody just not? Do you guys just have you got? When's the last time you guys made a phone call, like a real phone call? Today. Today. Who did you call? Who did I call? Yeah. Um, a sorority sister? I call my mom. How often do you guys, like, actually call somebody on the phone? I actually rather call people on the phone. Really? Yeah. Oh, man, and actually, people. in fact, I would rather talk to people face-to-face, -face, like, if I can <sighs> just... It's, it's just a thing, like... I, I feel like texting has, like, brought out, like, the weird antisocial part of me. Because it's just like, oh, I don't have to, like... I don't have to interact with somebody on the phone. There's no like weird moments that can happen, and it's like, like weird you know, pauses. I mean, and not like, like I can't that. handle that, but like so if I need to get things done, I'll get things done. But like I'd rather just have a text sent out, and it depends on like what the, who I'm texting. Like I'm not gonna like, text a business person or like a client about stuff like that unless they mm -hmm. request it. But like I feel like a lot of people have this this odd fear that I have, like just talking to somebody on the phone, because sometimes you don't know who's gonna like part of it's like you don't know who's gonna pick up, right? You know what I mean? No. Yeah. Am I crazy? I, I've heard it. I've yeah, heard it. I understand so. that. But right. like, sometimes text messages can be construed the wrong way. Yeah. Like, you, just because you type something, the other person may be like, wait, what do you mean? And take it the wrong way. It's also for me, I just, I don't like it because I forget. Like, I will literally pick up the phone and be like, oh, I have a text message, slide it open, and then go, I'll message back later, and then I'll forget. And then my friends are like, you didn't text me back. I'm like, I'm sorry. It was really important. I'm sorry. Well, there's no point now. I'm like, nah. <laughs> the, the thing is, like, if I see someone call me, I will really has I'll like I'll really hesitate to pick up that call unless it's like really important. Like, if I see someone call me, I'm like, I have to consider it for a good moment. I'm just like, do I want to pick this up? It's not a recognize. It's like if it's a number I don't recognize, I'm like, do I want to take that risk? Because it could be like you know like someone trying to sell me something and I have to deny them or pretend like I don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's so easy. You just like, you know, just like... And what if they speak that language? Well, then I just... Show's over, guys! <laughs> and that's, uh, that's as far as that conversation's ever gonna go. Because what are they gonna do? Call me back? Hey! That was rude. You can now, speak in an abstract something. language, like, I don't know. Like, or just mumble? Like, whatever, whatever, yes, whatever. but... <laughs> Exactly like, just like, <gasps> like Milton from Office Space. <laughs> we were just talking about this earlier. We were. Oh man. <laughs> You're like, oh, uh, well, I don't have your tape. We're just going to leave now. So. Um, those are the topics we have for time today. Wow, that one. I don't know if that was English. If that was in a coherent sense. Um, you can find me at twittercom slash Jeffrey A. Baron. I'll have a little title up here. Okay, not up here. It'll be like down here. Down here, lower third. You can't remember your head like yeah. Halo? No, I did. I actually did that last episode. I had like a little thing. You did? Like, uh, but That's it wasn't. Cool. It was like a, it was a really big pain. I'm not going to ever do that again. So I'm just going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> lower thirds, please, Jeff. Yes, thank you. Um, where can we find you at? How can we contact you? Can you can you? find me on Twitter at MS Allison Weeks. MS Allison Weeks? Yep. That's my username. What do you usually tweet about? I usually tweet about like news stories that I find from like news outlets, or I'll tweet about the Orion Opinion section. Oh, and you can also reach me at opinion editor at the Orion dot com. Got emails. I got emails. She's got emails, guys. Yep. You better believe it. Cammy, where can we find you? Um, there. You guys' twitters are just so professional sounding. <laughs> mine is mine is twitter dot com slash golden notes. Can you can you explain? I don't think you've explained it on I have. camera. Have you? Have I? On I camera? Golden I notes. Feel like, I feel like I've explained. The I don't know. Explain it one more time at least. Yeah. One more time. Okay. So <laughs> it's actually really simple. Uh, I ha uh, goldens are my favorite dogs, and I have a golden. His name is Shmooey. He actually came to visit me last weekend. And um, I love music, so notes like music notes. So golden cool. notes. Cool. Yep. And you can find me at Jeffrey Baron at twitter.com. And that's all we have for this week. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on our stories, you can go to theorion.com.